very excited to show how we, this transformation of industry through digitization of factories and buildings is going to have such a big impact on sustainability. So I'm thrilled today, you know, we're the company that is measuring at the intelligent edge as Jeff described, but we work together with partners and very happy to have Aurelian with me today to describe how together we as a semiconductor company working with a systems company are having a really meaningful impact on this existential challenge of sustainability. Industrial takes about 50% of energy between buildings and industries. So making an impact on this is a really big deal, a big deal for the planet. So I invite you all to be part of this mission that we're going to go through. I'm going to show you some examples uh, and talk to how we're making this big change. When you look at this picture up here, you see this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to have a really meaningful positive impact as an industrial company. Looking back at 1820 to 2020, very positive things happened from industrial, about a 90x increase in output, but that came at a cost. We had a 700x increase in CO2. That resulted in a 1.1 degree increase in the average temperature on the ground in the planet. So we're destined today to break the 1.5 degree limit that's there from the Paris Climate Accord. In order to get back to that limit, we need to deploy technology that will drive an 80% reduction in CO2. That's going to come from two essential sources. One is driving a greener source of energy through renewables, but the other is driving efficiency of existing industry. So that's really about every single jewel we use has got to do twice as much as before. So together, I think, looking at the impact we can make in terms of that system, it's a very exciting opportunity, it's a pretty daunting opportunity, but also it's something that we can really drive a significant reduction in terms of the energy used, and by that reason, that 2x efficiency is a key to how we can drive this improvement. Looking at this picture, digital industry, what does digitization of an industry mean? It means, first of all, driving the old network that used to be kilobits and driving it to tens of megabits, hundreds of megabits, and even gigabit of data. Why do we do that? That's got to be a reliable, robust network in terms of that data. Control of that network has got to be fully digital. So that changes from a sneaker net of people walking around with a pad to a fully always-on, real-time network that drives that real-world data to end up with this greater efficiency. And then, of course, the reason for that upgrade of the network and upgrade of the control with things like software I.O. and I.O. Link is to drive more measurement at the edge. And ultimately, that's what drives higher output and higher efficiency. So overall, we're increasing the value of each factory, of each building, in terms of this process of digitization. So it's a very exciting prospect. I'm thrilled to explain that we have a lot of results so far that are very positive. And deploying that in industries like automotive, pharma, and mining we already have 20% plus efficiency that we're doing together. Of course, this world between ourselves in terms of the semiconductor deployment at the edge, the intelligent edge, then deployed in terms of Aurelian's or Schneider Electric's deployment in the overall factory is what has us excited about this big change that we're making. Between sustainability, automation, and of course this world being software defined, I think this is truly a transformation that is able to have this big impact. So Aurelian is going to take us through this next piece of showing how this system comes together, and then I'll explain a little bit more about technology. Thank you, Martin. Uh, indeed, um, a big part of the CO2 uh, emission are due to industrial sector. And that means that if we want to run towards sustainable operation, uh, industrial world is facing one of the biggest challenges it ever faced. Automation is a key to loop between digital world and physical world. And we can now leverage technologies such as artificial intelligence to optimize performance, wireless to have remote management of sites and even get rid of traditional wiring and its maintenance burden, edge and cloud computing to distribute the intelligence where it matters, in the cloud if you want a large context and computing power, at the edge if you want fast reactivity and action on the field. And thanks to all these technologies, we are moving towards what we call software-centric automation, 
where we can bring more computational power, more modern connectivity, and flexibility by decoupling the control function from the hardware where it runs. So thanks to that, we bring values to our customers across the life cycle of industrial automation, openness and interoperability of the systems, resilience of the investment, and as well flexibility and agility in front of a fast changing environment. All that contributes to energy and operational efficiency and is key towards sustainable operations. So if we want to improve the energy efficiency and the efficiency overall of a plant, data is really the fuel of everything. You need the data. And to prove to put this in place, and we did it in our own plant in this example, you need first to be able to collect the data, to connect the devices and ensure that the data is, is put together. Then you need to assess it to make sure that you know where it comes from, what is the context, how, when, where, so that you can find your areas of improvement. And last piece is that you need to act on it to make sure that thanks to this data, you optimize, you predict, you automate, and make sure you have better operation afterwards. So thanks to software-centric automation and this evolution in terms of connectivity, we are moving towards industries of the future, which are agile, resilient, and overall eco-efficient. So that means combining automation and energy data to get a larger context to work on. That means connecting remote assets up to potentially the cloud and loop back. That means leveraging digital twin across the different steps of the life cycle, design, build, operate, maintain, and make sure that you have the continuity of data across the solution. And finally, that means that you optimize a machine, a line, a plant, but even up, up to the company level, including the supply and the demand. So by applying such principle in our own factory, we're able to get a 15% energy reduction and up to 50% electrification. So that's really the path that we're showing with our own installation, or customers' installation as well. But uh, let me take two examples here which are a bit more related to connectivity. First one being around um, Padanie Aque, which is a Spanish uh, water service provider with whom we work on remote connectivity. So they are covering 100 municipalities, and we are connecting more than 1,000 sites to a central control room in order to improve the operation. And thanks to that, we are able to reduce the energy consumption by up to 5%. We are able to increase the operational efficiency by 20%. And it overall resulted in decrease of 10% of the water loss, which is, which is quite uh, impressive. Second example, and I know it's as well a, a trendy one here, it's about 5G. And in Schneider Electric, we have been assessing the maturity of 5G towards industrial automation requirements. And for that, we picked a use case around hoisting, where a uh, central control room, you can drive several cranes on the site, and we were benchmarking 5G technologies compared to other traditional wireless technologies. And thanks to 5G, we were able to reduce by 34% the emissions per crane that were in place there. So that was a quite impressive result and pushing us to bring more value thanks to 5G to our customers. So that's, that was a few examples of how software-centric automation and modern connectivity help us to move towards a more sustainable operation. So up to you, Martin. Thank you, Ryan. So we look at this picture. This all starts with the reliable network. Data is the new insight that drives this big outcome of efficiency. When we look at this, we've got most of factories today are a wired network. It's very much reliable, trusted data. Overlaying that is going to be 5G for certain applications. So whether it's the case that this is a sensing technology that's going to be giving insight in a process. For example, one of the big applications is factories for batteries, where if you look at the network is the start of the factory becoming much more efficient, the control being automated, but then the end application in terms of the measurement is key. So that's the word we're so excited about, the combination of connectivity, including things like robotics that might be an AMR system with 5G, as Aurelian explained, a case with cranes or an AMR system, but also looking at the progress of the line in terms of yield and efficiency 
It's all about measurement. It's all about insight at the edge and then delivering that to a world where those insights will be put to better use in terms of yield or, or output of the factory. So imagine a world where you can increase the output of a factory step for uh, lithium ion batteries by 5% because of better yield and coating process. That's an efficiency that increases the pie for everybody involved. So it means the, that factory becomes much more valuable. So this is a very exciting challenge for us, but also it's a very exciting deployment of technology. It starts with the first wave of network connectivity, and then of course it means deploying better measurement right at the edge. So it's a world where AI will play a part, but it's a world that starts with measurement translated into insights and then into an outcome. In order to make this happen, this takes a village. Right? It's not a case that anyone does it alone. In accelerating this innovation cycle, we work together with a team from ourselves, a team from Schneider Electric, Aurelian's team, in order to work in a catalyst center that's beside our R&D site, for example. And what it does is every day working on the same problem to drive higher efficiency. So I would say that this picture here is about many, many stakeholders in the chain of value getting together, accelerating this output to a common goal, and therefore driving this higher level of sustainability. As we can say, this is an urgent call to action. We are very proud of what we've achieved together, and I think we're very excited about what we can do in the next phase of this rollout. So thank you very much. We have, uh, I think, some more to talk about this. But so far, I think the Intelligent Edge uh, is an opportunity that's growing, expanding exponentially. So thank you.